Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto and welcome to this new video on Space ID and the ID token. Wanted to do a quick update on that. We'll mainly focus on the technicals. We'll briefly talk about the fundamentals as well, uh, just to get a fundamental foundation. Uh, but we'll focus on the technicals. I'll try to prepare you as well as possible for the upcoming few days, for the next 24 hours, which will probably be very, very volatile. And just in general, tell you what the current uh, structure and what the current direction and situation is for ID. So that's what we're going to do. Before we dive into space ID and ID tokens specifically, I do want to tell you that if you want to receive daily trading signals, then check out the links down in the description um, and in uh, the pinned comments and there you'll find instructions on how to join, but also trade results. Last week, for example, we hit a 71% win rate. All right, now onto space ID. So you can see we're, we're bullish. We're up eight and a half percent market cap is around 140 million dollars and i wanted to talk about that i actually i actually think that that's um that that's still quite low um space id it's it's not a project that's that i like a lot i'm not that um i'm, I'm not that interested in domain services on on blockchains yet um, but I do think that after a Binance launchpad, usually the, the market cap of projects and the potential of those projects is quite high. And 140 million is still relatively low for me. Um, and apart from that, what you also tend to see with projects like these is that after some sort of a consolidation, we will rally. Um, so overall, I have some sort of a bullish sentiment on ID. If we compare that with the market structure, you can also see that we broke out of this downtrend uh, yesterday with the bullish momentum we had. And you can also see that these waving lines, those are EMAs, were all on top of the price. We actually broke above those. So we actually have the potential, I think, to rally right here with ID, especially with Bitcoin being this bullish, uh, even though that has its negative sides as well. And the main negative side of, of this with Bitcoin um, is that we are also nearing resistance. And we have seen that ID get some bullish momentum. Uh, you can see that most of the bullish momentum yesterday started when the bullish momentum for Bitcoin started. So there's correlation. Uh, so if Bitcoin now finds resistance, it's likely that ID will find resistance as well, which is not something we need because I think even though we are uh, no longer bearish with ID to really become bullish, I would think we would need to break about 50 cents. Major psychological resistance level, strong technical resistance level. If we can break above that, I think we can actually rally. First resistance level then is uh, is 54.55, but we are actually bullish then. And I think we're in an uptrend and I think we can rally quite a bit. Uh, uh, ID being a new, new crypto as well. I'm worried though, and right now it looks like the most likely scenario that we will not break through 50 cents easily. Uh, and I'm basing that on, well, first of all, that we're finding quite a bit of resistance at 48.5 cents. Second of all, also what I said, I think that Bitcoin is not able to immediately... Perhaps in, a, in, in the upcoming few days, we can get up to like 30K and 29,500. Uh, but I don't think initially we can break through this entire resistance between 28,700 and 28,900, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, that's why. I mean, even if Bitcoin goes a bit higher, I don't think ID can break through 50 cents right now. I think it's more likely that we will get there, but then find resistance and drop down to this level right here around 40, 47, 46 cents. And then if we can actually hold that and from there uh, get back up to 50 cents, all right, well, then we have confirmed that there's bullish momentum. And then later on, we will be able to break above that. All right, but th there's, as you might hear, there's a lot of conditionals and if this, then that. Um, so right now it's, um, I'm, I'm a little bit on the rocks with ID. Um, I think there's a chance we can break above 50 cents, but right now it looks like initially we will find resistance there. And whether we will break above that later, yes or no, depends on um, whether the market is still bullish and what kind of support we get at 47 and 46 cents. So I'll definitely keep you updated on this. Uh, for now, this looks like the most likely scenario, all right, so that we will find resistance, but then break above that later. Um, but I'll keep you updated. So for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.